Let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. We start things off in the United States, where the death toll from Hurricane Ida rose to at least four on Tuesday. Two deaths were confirmed in Louisiana, including a person hit by a falling tree and a driver who drowned in New Orleans. Louisiana State Governor John Bell Edwards said at least 671 people had been rescued from floodwaters by Monday afternoon. According to a grid monitoring website, more than one million homes and businesses in Louisiana were without power on Tuesday. Another 75,000 were reported in Mississippi, Alabama, and Virginia. Governor Edwards warned that high temperatures are expected in the next two weeks, longer than what it will take for some areas to get electricity back. He added that historically, the majority of fatalities from major storms occurred during the response, be it from heat exhaustion, motorists driving through floodwaters, or caused by carbon monoxide poisoning from portable generators. Meanwhile, the National Weather Service warned of heavy rain and a flooding threat to spread from the Tennessee and Ohio valleys up through the mid-Atlantic states on Wednesday. Over to Japan, where the government on Tuesday proposed a record level of defense spending for 2022. The Japanese Ministry of Defense is requesting nearly 50 billion U.S. dollars starting in April 2022, an increase of 2.6 percent on year. If approved by the finance ministry and Japanese lawmakers later this year, the budget would be an all-time high, as well as the steepest increase in a decade. Including the record budget bill is a plan to purchase a dozen U.S.-made F-35 fighters, as well as funding to develop the country's first new domestic fighter jet in three decades. Pundits say Japan's bill proposal comes as it tries to counter rising influence and aggression from China in the region. In comparison, Beijing plans to hike its defense spending next year by nearly 7 percent. And finally, we finish off in China, where the government has banned online gamers under the age of 18 from playing on weekdays, while limiting their playing time to just three hours most weekends. Starting this week, minors will only be allowed an hour of playtime between 8 and 9 p.m. on Friday, weekends and public holidays. The latest measures represents an even tighter restriction than one set in 2019, where minors were allowed to play for 90 minutes on weekdays and three hours on weekends. Authorities say these restrictions were put in place to help prevent young people from becoming addicted to video games. However, others say the restriction comes as China continues to escalate its crackdown on the country's massive gaming industry. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.